Two passenger trains collided near Bridgeport, Connecticut during Friday rush hour. At least 60 people were reportedly transported to the hospital with five critically injured. It happened a little after 6 p.m. An eastbound train heading from New Haven to Manhattan slid off its tracks, hitting a westbound train and causing several cars from that train to derail as well. WABC reports both trains were carrying about 700 people and talked to passengers who believe the wreck could have been much worse had it been making less frequent stops. We weren't going terribly. Fast. I think had we been going faster, I think there would have been a lot more destruction. Officials say two of four tracks in the area were already out of service for maintenance work. After the wreck, railroad service between New York and Boston was suspended indefinitely. Emergency crews that responded to the scene said there were no fatalities. CNN spoke to one man who arrived at the scene. I saw this one car and it was completely just like destroyed and they were pulling, you know, people out of, out of the uh, cart. Then, you know, they, they had broken, broken body limbs and, and they were all bloody. The first responders also said they were not sure whether the accident was because of a mechanical failure. Governor Dan Malloy held a news conference saying, I have no reason to believe that it's anything but an accident, but obviously that's something that has to be looked at. Federal crash investigators headed to the scene shortly after the accident. Governor Malloy said it could take until Monday for normal service to be restored. For Newsy, I'm Logan Tittle.